I'm Naomi Lindenfeld. I'm a potter and I uh, started being a potter, a professional potter in Brattleboro about 32 years ago. And uh, craftspeople tend to get to know each other around this area and uh, some of us became friends way back then and decided to get together and create this holiday craft event um, that started six years ago. And we do it in the house of Judy Zemmel at 44 Cherry Street, which is a little street that's near the hospital and the SD Oregon area. And um, it's a beautiful big Victorian house. And we clear out all the furniture and plants and books and everything and uh, set up displays of our work for uh, a weekend. Um, and the kitchen turns into a cafe and there's uh, wonderful food this year, Thai food by Ao Lad, and uh, Chris McDermott is gonna do baked goods. And then we have live music on Saturday evening, a lineup of local musicians. Um, and six years ago when we first started it, uh, there were six of us, and now there are a dozen of us. And it's not only grown uh, with the artisans involved, but uh, family members of the artisans uh, have been invited to display their work as well. Uh, Judy's uh, daughter makes soap, and her granddaughter, who's, I think she's eight, eight years old now, she's uh, dyeing uh, uh, fabric and, uh, for dish towels and washcloths and uh, Pamela Cubbage, her mother makes cards and her sister makes jewelry and um, Marta Birnbaum's mother has aprons this year and so all that other, there are probably more, oh, uh, Tita Hilsden's mother makes quilts. She's in her 90s. She makes quilts and pot holders and she's been a part of it for, since the beginning and uh, so they're uh, between uh, the artisans uh, who have a diverse offering of um, pottery and uh, fiber work, uh, weaving, uh, there's scarves, there's um, uh, Judy's making jewelry out of glass beads and also pottery uh, planters, beautiful planters that are textured and she has grown plants uh, to go with the planter uh, that she'll be selling this year. And um, there's Patty Johnson who makes handmade paper and uh, books and um, these wonderful little sewing kits and um, cards. And she's making catnip uh, cat toys this year. Um, and uh, we have a couple new artisans. Oh, well, the David Scholes. Uh, who many of you probably know from the select board. He's a fine woodworker and he makes uh, cutting boards and wooden, wooden utensils. Um, and uh, Pamela, uh, actually uh, Pamela Cubbage does uh, sewn work. She does napkins and pot holders and aprons and wonderful, uses wonderful colorful fabrics. Um, and the two new cherries this year are uh, Carlene Raper, who many know, she's been around the area for a long time. She does incredible quilts, and she won't have so many quilts as she will have puzzles made with the images from her quilts. And um, she also has beautiful balsam pillows and cards. And then there's uh, a, a couple, Marcia and Phil Ham, who uh, do these wax um, they're called, they're luminarias. They're not actually candles, but they hold a candle inside of them. And the, the colored wax is translucent. And some of them have LED kind of candles inside and some have real candles. And uh, Marcia paints um, brushwork on the lids of some boxes and so they collaborate with those. Um, and I do colored clay pottery. Um, I use a technique of coloring the clay, layering it and patterning it, and I make all kinds of functional things. Uh, lamps and butter dishes and uh, bowls, and uh, I use various techniques and do uh, various kinds of pottery. And Tita Hilsden 
uh, is uh, she does wonderful uh, stoneware functional pots, beautiful brushwork on them and carving, uh, really nice usable work. And some other artists that I want to make sure to mention are the Burnbaums, Josh and Marta. Uh, Josh is a glass blower, makes beautiful glass vessels and tumblers and ornaments. And Marta does glass beads and makes um, jewelry, wonderful jewelry with the beads. And then there's Ellen Troy, who uh, makes beaded jewelry, uh, bracelets and necklaces, and does incredible patterns with the beads. Saturday evening, uh, between 6 and 9, there's going to be this lineup of music. Um, there, uh, Tita Hilston and Rich Grumbine are going to play together. Tita's son, Josh, who is a great musician, and her brother, uh, Jazz, who's uh, visiting from California. He's a professional musician, and he'll do a great set. And then there's Jenny Reichman, who many might know from this area and Leon Cooper and Josh Gold. And uh, they're each going to do a 20 minute, half hour set. And you can look around at the crafts while you're listening or you can sit down and just enjoy the music. And it's free. It's all free of charge. And I'll just mention that uh, we have it set up so tax is included in all the prices of the items there. So that's kind of a nice little gift we give the, the community. Yeah, check out the, the website. Um, there's a page for the cafe. The uh, food that Al uh, cooks is amazing, very flavorful, wonderful Thai food. And she'll do soups and chicken and all kinds of and vegetarian uh, dishes uh, for lunches and dinners. And then there's baked goods, which you can eat there or you can uh, take, uh, take for gifts some of them will be wrapped uh, for gifts. And you can come and just have a meal there. You don't have to buy anything. Just enjoy the whole atmosphere of it or um, combine it with shopping.